Hi everyone and happy production day. I, as I've said previously in my videos, am in the school newspaper and so obviously everything is online right now. Every other Tuesday we still have a production day when we would usually um, be po like publishing an actual physical newspaper. Instead of publishing a physical newspaper though, we only publish it as like a PDF online, but we make the physical newspaper and do all the work that comes with it. I wanted to show what a production day for a college online, I guess, newspaper looks like. So this morning, I actually got up pretty early and I went for a little bit of a run. It was very, very nice and yeah, it was just like a good start to the day. It's really hot in LA right now, um, so if you want to do anything like that, you kind of have to go really, really early in the morning. The first thing that we usually do on production day is we have class. So we have class every single Tuesday and Thursday at 9.30. It's a Zoom class, I can show you. Usually we'll talk about a bunch of different things and today's articles and everything that we're gonna be doing today. going over which articles will be in the PDF. We have five sections of our newspaper. It's news, opinion, uh, culture, sports, and photo stories. Helicopters are really loud. Yeah, so there's usually about, I think there's usually like two articles in each, each section and then there's one photo story. So after this, we will all kind of like separate into two different sections, rooms, I don't know. One like group of people will be in charge of kind of making the physical newspaper and another group will be in charge of copy, copy reading, copywriting, no, not copywriting, what's it called? I'm, I can't remember what it's called, but proofreading the entire, like all of the articles for the newspaper. That's usually what I help out with. You basically just read through every single article and correct them and like um, just make sure that everything is in AP style. chat for a little bit because I think I need to make some breakfast and then I'll go back and help once I have food. I think I'm gonna cook some scrambled eggs for breakfast with like these cracker breads and avocado toast. bestseller after came an avalanche of sailor mouth books michael and sarah bennett's f feelings mark manson's the subtle art of not giving a fuck and faith g's harper's unfuck your brain i feel like that's the point of the article i've i've read the subtle art of not giving a fuck it's just like I don't necessarily agree that it's too much because it's just the title of the books and it's like the point. If being called out or cursing is a bother, a different self-help book may be a better choice. I really like this article. I just spent three hours in that class. I have another class later in like 30 minutes, um, which is a photojournalism class. It has nothing really to do with the newspaper at all it's just a separate class and obviously i need to be there but after my class is done i will be back 
and helping out with the final like look through of the newspaper PDF. Just because this is a huge part of it, I would also like to mention that there is an ongoing discussion in our group chat right now about which um, cover to use and how to place the text and all of that. So I think that this is what we're going with. So my class is over and we are gonna be going, go, going, oh my God. I'm delusional. Um, we're gonna be going over the PDF in a little bit. I'm really tired and it's so hot outside that I just came into my room to lay under the fan for a bit because I'm dying. So I'm gonna chill for a little bit. It's almost 90 degrees outside. Oh my God. The final PDF look through has started. Notice that some of the like bottoms of the text aren't aligned like the if you go to this art the other article if you see like the bottom uh, go to the class the fall uh, classes one if you see the third one yeah and I think for Carolyn's article it was the same thing <laughs> We just finished and it's time for me to take a nap hey everyone yet again i completely forgot to end the video this is becoming kind of like a routine um, so i'm just checking in to say that i hope that you enjoyed watching a production day in my life if you did like the video please give it a thumbs up and you can follow me on my instagram which i will write right here and um, subscribe to my channel if you're not. I just hit 700 subscribers, so that's awesome. Thank you so much to everyone who subscribed. Okay, I will see you next week, everyone.